Welcome to the first section of this course. In this first video, we will be straight going to my computer and after that to C drive, we will find their uh, folder called Zen. Inside that, we will find htdocs. And he, this is the root folder for this project where we can save all of our PHP files and other folders and uh, after creating them we can access them on the local host or on the browser so the first thing is to create a new folder here and name it search dash engine so this is our folder this will be having all of our files of this project here inside this root folder you need to always create folders with uh, a name like uh, search underscore engine or search dash engine or something like that without having a space inside the search engine folder we'll create another uh, one more folder called images so in this images folder we can save some images we will which we will insert in this project so after this we will open notepad as a text editor and here we will write our course the first thing will be a display page for the users so here I already have a file I just uh, close that and let's start the first thing to create a web page is to work in HTML and after the HTML work we can uh, insert PHP codes inside HTML because HTML is the structured language or markup language of web programming or web, desi web designing. So the first thing is to create a web page in HTML for displaying to the users. So here I will just write uh, the HTML5 uh, extension for the page doc type HTML. This is the single take for HTML5 and after that the basic HTML the basic HTML structure for this page this is the head the title in the title will be search engine in PHP and after that the title will be closed the head will be closed and after, after that body will start from here and body will close here so this is the first file after that we will save it you can save the files HTML files by just uh, pressing control S from your keyboard or from the file menu you can click save option however any option you use this file will be saved control S to save this and we will go uh, to a folder called We'll first go to my computer, then to C, and after that to Zem folder, and then to SGDocs. And there we have a folder called Search Engine. Inside that folder, we have to save all of our files and other folders. So here is the name of the page. You will name it as Search dot HTML. The HTML will be the extension for this page because this is an HTML file for PHP file we will use the extension as dot PHP but this page is a display page so the result we will be showing on another page that's why we are giving the name as search dot HTML because we are not inserting any PHP code inside this page so click save after that you have saved this page now just create a form a form is something really easy in PHP sorry in HTML this is HTML take to create a form and after that create a input take there so form and its action is action page is actually result dot PHP this is a page where this page will be going after someone click this for uh, the button inside this form so the person will be going to this page result dot PHP and there is another uh, method method is another attribute for this form take which will be post so I will tell you later on about the post in these things 
just let me sort this tag in a programming style we have just forms uh, take started from here and it's with its, its attributes the action will be result page where after clicking the the person will be going here the user will be going there uh, to result.php in the method is post inside this form take we need to create some input takes we need to insert input type is equal to type will be text name will be uh, search not user query this is the name it's very important because uh, we will catch the user input by using this name attribute in PHP this is very very necessary you have to give any name you like but uh, the value you have to remember because later on you can use this in your PHP in your PHP course after that another input which will be, which type will be is equal to submit a button its name will be search and a value will be given here to display on the button like search now so this is something that we have created here control s to save now if you want to see this page in your browser this basic page very basic just open your browser google chrome or any other you like i'm using google chrome so if you want to access this page then you will have to write localhost and after that that folder we have created inside the root folder search dash engine you will have to just uh, click that folder so here you will see index of search engine index means that the index of search engine is here means the folders in the pages are here so you can see search.html if you click that you will see this search box and a button here called search now so come back to your course here is the result here is the result you can see and this is your course for this now let's make it a little bit beautiful by inserting some CSS CSS is always CSS codes are always inserted uh, inside the head tag before the closing head tag so we'll first of all insert the style tag its type will be is equal to text backslash CSS this is the tag the closing is in uh, the closing and starting take up uh, CSS styles so after that we can give some style to the you know we can insert some first of all we need to insert some styles for the form take form inside two brackets we can write some styles for this form take like uh, margin margin will be 25 percent from the page 25 percent so that you click save from here file menu or you can press ctrl s from your keyboard and just refresh this now this is here you can see the center of the page now if you want to give a background a beautiful style to the background then you're good to go for example if you want to, sorry we'll insert the body take here and for the body take you actually don't need to inside HTML you can directly select the HTML takes to style to insert styles for or something anything you like to style up so here we will just say background background color should be like uh, something you know we can pick a color from 
HTML by writing HTML color names in Google. So you can go to HTML color names W3 schools, and here you can. This is a very easy and quick tip if you want to find a good color for your web projects. So this is the color name, or you can copy the color code from here. I just copied the color code. We'll insert it here and control S to save. Now come here and refresh this page. So you are seeing a color, a background color. Now come to this form again. Now I want to make this box a little bigger because this is very very small and I want to make it like Google. So we'll write uh, an attribute called size. I will make it 80, 80 points. Control S to save and after that I will come here on the browser and refresh the page. So you can see now this is looking more beautiful and more good. If you want to uh, take it a little bit above then you can just in the body take in the body style uh, selector you can just uh, add some margins margins equal to minus 80 80 pixels minus 80 means this will minus and this will go up but you can just say margin top now refresh this page again so this is here now it's the exact position we want it so this is the simple coding for this page there is no need to uh, to add more things but uh, we can add more something more if needed then we can add some more codes on some styles etc but this page is now ready the html page search now and here if someone writes something like something here write something here so after that the user will click this search now button and will be displaying some results over here but before that you can add a default text inside the box and for that we use placeholder placeholder uh, HTML attribute write something to search control S to save now refresh this text will be basically inside the box now refresh by default this text is here in some more click and it will be having it will be displaying the results so this is the first video we have created all the folders for this required folders in a file search.html is also created in the next video we will be doing the php work as well as adding some more styles to this search box. See you soon.